the day the day I caught the big fish, I was actually not going to go, and I decided at the last minute to go. The fish took uh, well took my first cast, and the line was it just basically hit the water. It was uh, a big boil. Seen the side of the fish. It took a massive run, and it felt heavy in the rod right to the tail of the pool. And I thought at the time, well, there was a big rock at the bottom of the pool, so I had to turn the fish. So I had to put a lot of side strain on it to get it to turn. And it wasn't until after probably 20 minutes I realised, obviously when I seen it, how big it was. And thinking back on it now, the amount of pressure I put on that fish, I thought I was lucky to get it at all. Uh, when I seen it, I thought I need help because there's no way I could land a fish that size by myself, even with the experience I've had over the years. It wasn't an ideal place to beach it, or I couldn't even put my hand anywhere near around its tail, it was too big. So I actually made probably around four phone calls while I was playing this fish. Uh, to One was to river manager, one was to my son. Uh, two of them couldn't make it. And I thought back and luckily I seen Joe McGinty heading back to Kamiski. So I gave him a quick call while playing the fish, trying to hold the pressure onto the fish so the hook wouldn't come out. And uh, luckily Joe answered the phone. But unfortunate for me, Joe didn't really know the area I was fishing. So it took Joe, Joe a good 20 minutes to come up and find me. So when he arrived, I just hears a shout through the trees and I says, I'm down here. And down he came, I turned round and I looked at the net, I seen the net and I thought, that's no use, but I couldn't see anything. Joe was good enough to come and help me. So Joe came and uh, First, his first reaction was, look at the size of that, look at the tail on that, it's massive. So Joe got into position, I lifted it, the, the fish's head up when I was playing it and just pulled it in towards him. Joe put the net under it, I jumped down. Joe tried to lift it before that, but it was too heavy for the net. So I jumped down and grabbed either side of the net, lifted it up, and the fish just took up the hole of the net. Uh, and that's when I realised how big it was. Uh, it, was. it wasn't, I guess, of 30 pound. This thing was well over 30 pound. Uh, and I just stunned, to be honest. When we measured the fish, it came up with 46 and a half inches. And so we knew it was a, a very big fish. It was actually, I tried, obviously tried to get a photo of the fish first, and it was, it was actually in the wrong position. To put it back, it was actually facing in the wrong direction. So it was that heavy, when I turned round, I had to lie in the water and then I had to turn it, my body around again to get it into the water properly for releasing upstream. Uh, and it didn't take awful long for the fish to go back. It was in, within a couple of minutes, it was swimming away into the depths. Obviously the river manager phoned me, said, did I land the fish? He says, yes, we landed the fish. He asked, estimate the size. He says, well, if it's not 40 pound, it's very close. And it wasn't until we got back, uh, John kind of asked me, you need to put it in for the Malak Trophy. It's the most prestigious salmon awards you can get. And I'm glad he, he actually pushed me forward to it now. The Malak Trophy is a great incentive for youth, for experienced anglers, for beginners. Uh, it's not just about the fish. It's about getting out there, enjoying yourself, the chance of catching the fish, being around nature, it's around the river and being in the countryside. Uh, I was encouraged into fishing very young by my parents and relatives. I think there should be more kids in the sport. I think it should be encouraged more. I think the, the river associations or clubs or whatever, councils should encourage the youngsters to go to these places and try and catch a fish. Reason being is it keeps them off the street, it keeps it gives them an interest, and it keeps our sport alive as well. Um, it's just the thing about this sport is 
you never know when you're going to catch a fish that size or any sort of fish that's absolutely stunning and that's why we do it it's, it's not about the amount of fish we catch it's about when we catch them and waiting for that pool and the end of the rod uh, I never thought I was going to catch a fish that size because I had a chance a couple of years ago and a fish of similar size came off and I thought well I'm not going to get another chance again uh, and it just shows you you never know the minute you never know the time or the place and it's it can happen to absolutely anyone